guys it occurred to me i haven't done one on manny mata in a while and y'all know how i can't stand that that poor bastard but in this one he's gonna roll up to a random texas cop in a town that he's not from doesn't live in and he is gonna get so severely butthurt and he is gonna do like a massive walk of shame when he doesn't get what he wants the officer actually at the end completely owns mata's little punk ass and it is fantastic and great Mata loses his mind, and then when I say does a massive walk of shame, I mean like a six-mile walk of shame because he doesn't have a driver's license, remember? Anyway, enjoy, guys. Borger, police depo- police officer right here. Um, I walked up to him right now and asked him if he was doing a speed trap. And he told me, I'm just sitting here on my phone. And then I asked him for his name and badge number. And he rolled up the window on me. <laughs> I wonder, isn't it your policy to identify to a member of the public, sir? Huh? Excuse me, sir. Isn't it your policy to identify? I just need your name and. No. You need a job and a 12-step program. Knock it off, Mata. Badge number. And I'll walk away. Why is that so hard? Stop resisting, sir. I just need your name and badge number so I can walk away. I don't see anybody keeping you there now. Why aren't you free to walk away this very second, Mata? Oh, that's right. Clickbait bullshit. My bad. And that's why I, I asked him if he was doing a speed trap. And then he told me he's just sitting here on his phone. And then I asked him for his name and badge number and he rolled up the window on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm in a uh, Borger. B O R G E R Texas. And we got this cop right here. Posted up. Right here, look. On the side of the road. And I- all right. Well, first of all, a speed trap is an actual thing. That's where some corrupt departments or municipalities or counties have a speed limit sign that is say 55 miles an hour. And behind that is another speed limit sign that decreases the speed that you're allowed to travel, but it does it in a fashion to where you're not physically able to slow down to meet that requirement. Therefore, you get pulled over for speeding and get a ticket. That's a speed trap. Him being posted up on the side of the road, that's consider that an integrity check because most people who just get to driving and they're not paying attention, They're not paying attention to the speed they're going. They look up and see a police car on the side of the road. They look, the first thing they do is look down at their speed. And yes, contrary to what DMA says, speeding causes wrecks. Wrecks causes unalivings every day. Swing and a miss, Mata. Maybe he doesn't want to talk to you because your breath smells like, uh, I can only imagine what. I found him right here. (laughs) And I asked him what if he was doing a speed trap. And he told me, I'm just sitting here on my phone. Then I asked him for his name and badge number, and he won't give it to me. It's weird. Sir, I just need your name and badge number, sir. Because I can't be interfering if you're just sitting here on your phone. Yeah, he won't tell me his name and badge number. I guess that's the culture over here in Barger, Texas. They don't identify the citizens. Oh, you're a citizen of that town. Oh, my bad. I just thought that you were some crackhead criminal looking for... Yeah, because he didn't want to. He didn't feel like he needed to. 
I just need a, I just need your name and badge number, sir. Will you comply? That's all I'm asking you. I don't need nothing else but your name and badge number. It's weird. Why wouldn't you? Why don't you want to identify, sir? Huh? Shh. Grown ups are talking. It's crazy. Now look, he's on his phone right now. I don't know if y'all can see it. See? That's what he's on his phone. He's right there on his phone. Yeah, yeah, see? He's on his phone. There's a space right there. Yeah, he don't want to tell me his name and badge number. I think he feels like he don't need to. He don't need to respect the public. I wonder if he does this shit to people he pulls over. When they ask him his name and badge number and he says, I'll tell it to you later. That's not true at all. His name and badge number will be on the ticket he gives him. It's weird. Sir, are you refusing to identify yourself? That's crazy. I guess this town is fucked up over here. They don't respect shit. I'm in Borger, Texas. B-O-R-G-E-R. Borger, Texas. Yeah. Type of shit we're dealing with here. And you, you could look me up all you want to. I don't have warrants. I don't have shit. You know, man, I, I, I don't want to say that you're lying, but it seems like every time that you say I don't have warrants, you do have warrants, and then you wind up in cups. So who are we supposed to believe, you or anyone else? I'm going to go with anyone else. All I needed was your name and badge number, and you're refusing because you're a fucking scumbag. Weird. Weird. And I hope you're not looking me up and using your official equipment to do it. That's crazy. Yeah, he's all over here. He's posted up right here. Yeah, you're on the internet right now. Yeah, you're a scumbag. But aren't you a bigger scumbag considering that you run around with Carolina does Fort Worth? You know, considering that, how did she lose her teaching certificate again? Wasn't she banging underage students? Yeah, and that's not a that's not me roasting him, boys and girls. That's what she did. That's who he runs around with. And because of her conduct and his criminal record and the fact that he's a complete piece of garbage is why they're frauditors. Simple. All you had to do was identify yourself. Loser. That's what I'm going to call you. A loser. A DF click member. I don't have no warrants, wants. You don't even know me. And the fact that you don't want to identify you speaks volumes of you. No, it says that he doesn't want to pay you any attention because you're insignificant, Mata. You're not relevant to anything or anyone outside of your own little pitiful YouTube channel and that chick you run around with, your little lot lizard life mate. You're a tyrant. Hey, how many people's rights have you violated in your career? Huh? How many internal affairs complaints you have? Because you finna get one right now. Let's see what he's doing on his computer. I see it.
Hey, I need your name and badge number now because you just created a public record taking a picture of me. Swing and a miss again, Mata. He doesn't have to give you his name and badge number. He hasn't had any contact with you. He did not approach you. You approached him talking shit. So he doesn't have to give you anything. And yes, he's probably running you through facial recognition now because it seems highly suspect that you're bringing up wants and warrants and the fact that you're harassing and stalking him. Uh, yeah, I'd probably be running your dumb ass for warrants too. Don't worry, I'm going to go to your police department in a little bit and get it. I know how to get it. A Freedom of Information Act. You just took a picture of me on your phone. That's a public record. Dumbass. Dumbass. You just created a public record. Now you have to identify yourself. And I'm still, I'm going to go, I'm going to find where your police station is. And I'm going to get everything that way. And I'm gonna file a complaint on you while I'm at it. Y'all can share my picture with each other. Circle jerk each other with it. Well, not to be too graphic for what I hear about Manny Mata every time he goes to jail, he should be used to other guys circle jerking on him. Y'all can, that, that picture, that's the identification of a real man, not a fucking coward. I'm in Borger, Texas. I don't know the police station number or nothing like that. We're in Borger, Texas. It's Borger Police Department. He wants to take pictures of me and share it. Y'all can share it with each other. I'm gonna get that picture you took. It's a Freedom of Information Act request. You're well, have you made a FOIA request yet? No, then he doesn't have to give you anything. You couldn't be any more wrong, Mata. You're going to learn about it, I promise you. Your tyrannical shit is over with. You look like a fucking scumbag anyways. You hide behind that badge a lot, don't you? It makes you feel powerful. Kind of like how your bitch ass hides behind that camera when you're dealing with grown men. That's okay. Uh, I guess that when you were calling him a scumbag, you were just seeing your reflection off the tinted window. And that's okay. The mistakes happen all the time, Mata. Right? Name and badge number. That's all I wanted. Weird motherfuckers. Do you have your GED or did you graduate from high school? You're not going to identify yourself. If I had to take a guess, if they hadn't taken pity on you in prison, Mata, you wouldn't even have your GED. So I don't really think that you should be pointing that out to people. Huh? You're not going to give me your name and badge number? Oh, he's trying to cover it up. Yeah, or your card or whatever. Something. That shit is crazy. This is how y'all treat members of the public? Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, I need, I need any, that. Are you having an emergency? I need that. I need your name and badge number is what I need. Will you give me that? You're finna hand me your card. I don't need your backup from a car. Can I have your card, sir? Yeah, there you go. All right. Oh, look. Look, this motherfucker didn't give me shit. You're a fucking pussy. And you just got burned, roasted, played, and owned. Game, set, match. Checkmate, Mata. You lose. Good job, officer. Get your bitch ass to work, ho. Look, this is what he gave me. This is what he gave me right here, y'all. that scumbag the fucking weenie they're used to that bullshit with other people that's why you got butt hurt run around and shit yeah he tricked us he kept that emergency shit i need your name and badge number 
Shut the fuck up and give me that. Ugh. They went somewhere that way. Yep. You're right. Let's go. Another trash ass cop. And guys, that's where we'll end it. He literally did the next 10 minutes of his live stream on a walk of shame, ranting and raving because he got absolutely played and owned. And he is butt hurt big time. And from what I hear from about uh, CFW, that probably is a common occurrence for him. Anyway, guys, I'll see y'all tonight. It's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good one.